A protest transitioned into another protest, and all involves a controversial traffic stop by Columbia County deputies. Gilmore needs to go. Gilmore needs to go. Because all of this is taking place. I'm going to tell you something. When David Aubrey and the all white money she said we have these type of problems, she has brought these problems to Lake City. Chief Gilmore stood in silence as protesters verbally attacked her and made it hard for reporters to talk to her. Yeah, News for Jack supporter Eric Avigny was there during that protest. And Eric, as you join us now, walk us through what happened there. Well, the protesters were frustrated with the chief because they say she refuses to talk with them about issues involving alleged racist comments by one of her officers and the idea of a citizen's review board when it comes to officers who are accused of wrongdoing. What began as a protest against a controversial traffic stop by Columbia County deputies quickly turned into a protest against Lake City Police Chief Argatha Gilmore. Chief Gilmore has two faces. The face y'all see in the church and the one she's showing you today. Protesters blame Chief Gilmore, who is black, for allowing a white police officer to remain on the force after they say the officer made racist comments on video about policing African Americans differently. They also went after her command staff. You know that Sergeant John is a problem. You know that Costco is a problem. Why are we not doing anything about these problem cops? You all know that this guy's a problem. What are you going to do? Wait till somebody get killed? And this is why her officers feel it is okay to patrol our community different. After protesters took their focus off of the chief, I pulled her to the side and tried to get her response. But first of all, I don't think you can hear me. I think you can hear me because I can't hear myself. She refused to speak to the people, but she'll go talk to the news. And that's what we're dealing with. Now, right after the protest ended, I attempted to restart my interview with Chief Gilmore, who appeared saddened by uh, what was said about her, especially after protesters demanded that she be removed from her position. Now, she declined the interview because she said it would optically look bad since she had already been accused of not speaking to citizens about their concerns. But she says she did want, to, she did want Lake City residents to know that there are two sides to this issue and that at some point she would like to address the other side in a less hostile setting. Reporting live in the newsroom, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.